People, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show. God, I'm feeling good this morning. Guys, man, oh man, oh man, actually it's not this morning, it's like evening Sunday. But guys, you know me, man, I gotta do, you know, I gotta do my broadcast a few days before so I can get, get out in front and focus on the big, big, big projects during the day, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, with that being said, guys, the golden rule, Emerson's essay revised. I talked about this, oh my god. I was listening to my last episode of this. Uh, this was a very, very long time ago, and I don't think I did a really, really good job reading it because while I was reading it this afternoon, which pretty much changed my entire mindset, I realized going back and listening to what I said back in October 17th of 2016, it was the same thing I've been reiterating for so long in terms of, oh, when I walked past this person, they held their bed. I don't even know how I started talking about that, to be honest with you guys, but my speaker did sound pretty good. Anyways, um, oh, I'm sorry, my mic did. Um, but yeah, it was, um, I don't know, it was weird. I said, you know what, did I make an episode on this before? And I did, but you know what, I'm revising it because the stuff I read today was insane. Now, guys, I've done a lot of reference in terms of Emerson, uh, in my podcasts, uh, in the book. Remember Ralph Waldo Emerson's Law of Compensation? Remember that? Um, yeah, you can actually find these in PDFs online for free. Now, why is it such a big deal, though? Um, and remember, this is basically talking about what I talked about three days ago, but what I actually talked about today, because I'm talking, you know, in the time of actually doing the podcast, if that makes any sense. This, the same thing about, you know, the law of compensation is basically predicated off what the golden rule is based on. See, a lot of people around the world, they believe that the Emerson and the Golden Rule is all just but a theory. But the thing is, you read this book all the way through, and at the very, very end of it, it says, you know what, it's all about rendering service. But the thing is, we want immediate reciprocation for the services we have rendered. This is where we always fail. Now, let me give you an, an, another example, okay? I'm not talking about anything. Remember, I've already cleaned up my act. Okay, now, of course, the podcast on Monday and Tuesday might be a little bit different, but I've already cleaned up my act. I'm no longer using reactive language. So I'm telling you right now, back in the end of 2015, I was approached by a woman. That woman does not matter who she is, but she told me, she said, hey, can you create a curriculum? Whereas, you know, we could do conversation based courses. And she said this could bring a lot of money to you. I said, sure. From out of that, probably over the next two years or whatnot, I've probably accumulated anywhere between maybe... I don't know, like five five thousand to six thousand U.S. dollars in like a three year span, but the 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 language center itself accumulated probably more than a million dollars. No, I wouldn't say a million. That's huge. Two hundred thousand, I'd have to say. So yeah, of course, five thousand is different from two hundred thousand. But she approached me and she said, "Hey, you know what? If you create this, uh, how much do you want us to give you?" Okay, that sounds good. But you know what? A lot of you guys are probably saying, "Man, I would be gutted if they made that much." No, you're looking at it the wrong way. See, if you guys actually looked at it from a standpoint saying, wow, I just created a curriculum. What else can I create? There goes the answer. So, of course, what I'm doing today in terms of, you know, my graphic designer designing a PDF, doing all these things with my blogs and, you know, these videos on YouTube and this and that. Now I understand my true self worth through that particular thing. See, sometimes we have to do more than what we are paid to do. We have to render service for very little, little reciprocation, but that reciprocation can be, it could, it could come about in breadcrumbs. And then when you realize it and say, Oh, I could create test prep courses for TOEIC, TOEFL, IELTS, SAT, GRE, GMAT, all these things, put them online and sell them for what? Five to $20 a pop? Okay. Build up a, 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 a insurmountable amount of following base, and there it is. Okay, there lies the money. But I could really care less about the money. I'm not in it for doing it for the money. I'm in it for helping people around the world because that's just written in my instance. But guys, it's all about giving and giving and giving and giving. See how many, how many are there out there who have rendered service, and of course they were neither reciprocated nor appreciated. See, we have all had such experiences. You have had such experiences. And we will continue to have such experiences. But don't let this stop you from doing what's written inside of you. See, it's kind of like this. When I open a door for someone in America, they're always going to say thank you very much. There's no one that walks through the door that doesn't say anything, just sticks their head down and walk through. 
or you would call them out and say, uh, excuse me, you're welcome. You know what I mean? That's what we do in America. In Thailand, some people say thank you. Uh, 20% say thank you. 80% feel like they are entitled. So do I hold doors open anymore? It's hard. It's very hard. I'm all, and I'm trying to work on it. But the thing is, we want instant gratification and instant reciprocation. But remember, just probably a few weeks before, I told you guys the story about, yes, I dropping my water bottle. And two people came over, a man and a woman, picked it up at the same time, looked at each other, smiled, and gave me my water bottle. I laughed and I said, thank you and thank you. So you know what happened after that? The universe said, hey, Arsenio, now it's your turn. So someone dropped something. I picked it up and they said, thank you. I remember I, I told a girl to get out of the elevator uh, before me. I said, no, you, you could go on. And she said, thank you. Now it's, it, listen, it's hit or miss. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But it's not about receiving the instant reciprocation because that will just drive you insane. You know what? Napoleon Hill wrote in his book, he said, you have often heard it said that a salesman first sell should be to himself, which means that unless her or his first convinces, you know, you know, unless he convinces himself of the merits and the wares and whatever you want to call it, he will not be able to convince others. Right here again un- enters this same law of attraction for it is well known or for it is. A well-known fact that enthusiasm is contagious. See, and when a salesman shows great enthusiasm over his wares, he will arouse a correspondent interest in the minds of others. Now, I see this every day. Walk into the stores. There's always someone who doesn't believe in themselves. Therefore, of course, no one is going to stop to talk to that, that specific someone. However... I was just having a conversation with one of the ex-employees at the place, whereas I'm going to be an ex-employee very soon. She, I told her, I said, you are a master salesman. You sold like hell on earth. You were a beast. And you know why? Because, hey, you know what? She sold herself. People would come in. She would joke. She would smile. She would do this and do that. They can't refuse that. Going back into what he said, he said, you can comprehend this law quite easily by regarding yourself as a sort of human magnet that attracts those whose characters harmonize with your own and thus regarding yourself as a magnet that attracts to you all who harmonize with your dominating characteristics and repels all who do not so harmonize you should keep in mind also the fact that you are the build of that magnet also that you may change its nature so that It will correspond to any ideal that you may wish to set up and follow. Whatever you are, you attract that. Over the last five months, I told you guys, I had a confession this past Sunday. Actually today, but this past Sunday, you guys are listening to it on Wednesday. And I told you guys, I said, I have failed at my duty as a podcaster, as a person of inspiration, as a person, as a motivation, whatever you guys look at me as, because I fell into that trap. I fell into the trap of, hey, you know what? I am no longer attracting to me the people that I want to attract into my life until I pull myself together. I read this message, like I told you guys today. Within 30 minutes, I got a massive job offer. You see, when you could just tune in and tune out, you will allow great things into your life. Back into what he said. He said, and most important of all, you should keep in mind the fact That this entire process of change takes place through thought. Your character is but the sum total of your thoughts and deeds. This truth has been stated in many different ways throughout this course. Because of this great truth, it is impossible for you to render any useful service or indulge in any act of kindness toward others without benefiting thereby. Moreover, it is just as impossible for you to indulge in any destructive act or thought without paying the penalty and the loss of a correspondent amount of your own power. Oh, when I read this, I said, thank you. At that given moment, I needed this so much. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to continue reading and writing right after this podcast because it just set my soul on fire. See, I'm going to repeat just a little bit of that. He said, because of this great truth, it is impossible for you to render any useful service or indulge in any act of kindness toward others without benefiting thereby. Just realize, people, whatever 
you are tuned into, whatever you are doing in whatever field of on divorce you are in, just know that that kindness towards others, it will benefit you. It's not going to be reciprocated instantaneously. You have to get that through your mind. But at the same time, if you indulge in any destructive act, of course, it's the law of cause and effect. If you do unto others, don't do unto un, don't do unto others as they do upon yet yeah, something like that. I'll read it next time. But you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. So, this is what happens. I've lost my own power. I've lost that power at the very end. He said, "Paying the penalty and the loss of a corresponding amount of your own power." I've lost all my power over the last five months because of something that had happened. And now I have stripped away all and I severed all ties. And now I am moving forward. And now let the floodgates of beauty come on in. See, I went into the store and I bought some things today. And I was just smiling, listening to Earl Nightingale. And, you know, talking to a couple of people, got a job offer, had an excellent email when I woke up. And, uh, you know, in terms of my PDF, that's going to be coming out real soon. And so many wonderful things, man. And you know what? It wouldn't have happened if I didn't get my mind right again because my mind has been lost. Guys, don't lose your mind. What I'm trying to say today is it's always about, of course, doing more than what you're paid to do. But the thing is, render service. Remember, Gary Vee calls it jab, 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 right hook. That's called basically give, 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 ask. See, some people, they just want they always believe that they're entitled and that they just should have everything. You need to get good at giving and doing things for free. If you're young, you're 18, you're 19, you're 20, go and turn wherever you want to learn. Let's say at Gary Vee, be like, hey, Gary Vee, I would love to be an intern at your place and work for free. He'll get you in there. Learn everything and move on. You got to be able to give in the beginning. And that's what I do. You know, in my podcast, I don't have much to offer a lot of people. I remember one lady was like, oh, for you to be on my show, you have to give me 1,000 U.S. dollars. I laughed. I said, you don't even have 5,000 followers. And so a lot of people, they really do believe because of whatever level they're at, they believe, hey, you know what? Dude, just I, I want to just, you know, uh, you have to give me money. But then I actually got in touch with someone else on Twitter. Harvest and Happiness, the Happiness Radio, the uh, lady, what is it, Lisa, Lisa Cypress Kamen. I'm going to be interviewing her very soon. She did not want any reciprocation. See, she understands the law. Render service, people. You need to render service. And with that being said, people, thanks for tuning back into another episode of The Arsenio Buck Show. If you liked it, share it. If you shared it, that means you like it. And until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. Over. And...